Terry Fox is undoubtedly one of Canada's more inspirational heroes. Diagnosed with bone cancer at 18 years of age and having to amputate his leg, Terry decided to run his Marathon of Hope across Canada to raise awareness and funds for cancer research. His dream was to find a cure for cancer so that others wouldn't have to suffer the way that he was seeing at the time. Terry's dream was to find a cure for cancer and we're not there yet. So until we find that cure, I think that you'll see the Terry Fox run continue all across the world. Right now there's 9,000 events held worldwide each year, all to raise money for cancer research. Uh, so far, $600 million has been raised in the name of the Terry Fox organization uh, or foundation. And that money goes towards research, um, Canadian universities, research facilities, trying to find a cure for all cancers, not just one specific type. And uh, keep it, keeping it going, like I say, until we find the cure. One of the goals Terry Fox had was to raise $1 for every Canadian. Uh, and he thought that that would find a cure for cancer. Um, so far, like I said, he's raised over $600 million through this uh, Terry Fox run. Our goal here in Sault Ste. Marie hasn't, hasn't changed. We still want to raise $1 for every Sault Ste. Marie resident every year is our goal. We haven't reached it yet. Uh, last year we raised $30,000 at this event. We're still trying to double that and get closer to the $75,000 is our target. Uh, but so far, Sault Ste. Marie has generously donated over $400,000 to the Terry Fox run. The big one for Terry Fox himself would have been the fact that when Terry was diagnosed, he had a 15% chance of survival. Uh, now it's 80 to 90% and highly unlikely he would never have had his leg amputated. So that's the power of research dollars that we're, we're generating today. Uh, if you can't participate but would like to still get involved, uh, we're accepting uh, volunteers. This event doesn't take place without the help of people around us. Uh, we need at least 50 volunteers every year to, to make this happen and make sure everybody has a favorable experience while they're here. Uh, the organizing committee tries to make this a family fun event. Uh, there's things, face painting, barbecue. Uh, we have a DJ on site for the morning of. Uh, we're going to have the uh, steel workers inflatables here for the kids to play on to keep them, keep them entertained. Uh, as well as some, some food available as well and a silent auction. So there's, there's lots going on and there's lots for everybody to do and see even if they don't want to run. Uh, the event is on September 15th here at the Roberta Bondar Pavilion. Uh, pledge forms can be found online on the Terry Fox organization website. They can also be picked up at various locations around town. The Athletes Foot in the Station Mall, uh, TD Banks have them. Uh, the organizing committee is going around town and asking uh, stores and merchants to put uh, forms out and available for people to pick up. Uh, the big thing is I think everybody's been touched by somebody in their close circle that's, uh, that's been affected by cancer and I think it's time that we all get out, get involved and try to make that final difference to find this cure. For more information on how to participate in this year's Terry Fox Run or to make a donation, you could visit terryfox.org. Reporting for Shaw TV, I'm Christian LeMay.